Hi everyone, in this video, you will learn how to customize part and assembly drawings with ProtoSteel based on the preferences of your company. Part and assembly drawings are automatically generated by ProtoSteel, and for these drawings, ProtoSteel utilizes default settings initially. However, you can always manually customize those. Before generating the part and assembly drawings, numbering should be performed. ProtoSteel performs the numbering process automatically based on the similarities of all assemblies and parts in the model whose detailing has been completed and whose drawings will be produced. For numbering, go to Drawings and Reports tab in the ribbon menu and select Perform Numbering Command. On Numbering Options window, details of group objects are provided. At this stage, let me remind you that before the numbering process, all connections in the model should be designed and checked for clashes, which can be done automatically in ProtoSteel simply by utilizing the clash detection command. After doing these, ProtoSteel can easily assess the similarities for grouping. On this window, there are two groups named as 0 and 10. Group 0 is the group of steel elements, and group 10 is the group of anchorage elements. You can cancel numbering for the group, which you don't want numbering to be performed by selecting an O from the drop-down menu in Do Numbering column. Under the Renumber All column, you are given two options for already numbered models. Modified option here ensures that the given numbers will be kept stored and modified, whereas, Renumber option can be selected to renumber all the groups without keeping the old numbers. Under the Modified Part column, there are three options. Let's assume that you have a revised project on which new members are inserted. When the new members are classified as similar to already numbered and existing members, in this case, the new members can be assigned with either new numbers, or the already given number can be kept and assigned again. After adjusting these preferences, start numbering. ProtoSteel quickly performs the numbering process and sends you a notification when the numbering is completed. Let's check the numbers of a few members in our models. In order to see the profile details, double-click on the member which you want to check. The numbering information is provided under the Detailing Definitions tab on this Profile ID window. Here we see that the drawing group is numbered as 0, and we already explained what this means. We also see the prefix given to the member for part and assembly drawings, and the number of the member. The CL prefix here is a default prefix assigned to the columns, and you can easily customize these. The customization steps will be explained in a few minutes. Now, let's check these settings for a plate now. Again, we double-click on the member. We can see the same settings for the plate member under Detailing Definitions tab here. As you can see, under this tab, we can also see the last numbering time. For each member type, ProtoSteel assigns a default prefix. For columns, it is CL, for beams, it is B, and for vertical braces, it is VB. Let's see how to customize these. For example, let's change the prefix assigned for the columns in our model. For this purpose, first, we select all the members and hit enter on our keyboard. Here comes the grouped object selection window, which is actually a very useful feature, and it can be used for various purposes. Once you select the profile option here, you can see that all the profiles in the model are listed immediately. On this list, you can also see various properties like the material. When you check the box here, the material information is added to the list automatically for each profile. When you check the beam group option, you can also see the member group of each member on the list. In short, this feature allows you to filter members quickly. For changing the default prefix assigned to the columns, Let's see the list based on only the member groups and select column from this list. Once you select columns here, you can see that the selections on the model are automatically changed and only the columns are selected. Now, let's open the multiple profile objects selected window to customize the detailing definitions. Here, we can write the prefix which we want to assign to all the selected members for part and assembly drawings separately. After setting the start numbers, we can apply the modified settings. Since we changed the prefix settings, we need to perform numbering once again. Based on the previously made preferences, the numbering command will keep the old numbers and apply our modification to all the profiles in our model. By double-clicking on a column, we can easily check if the change in prefix is applied or not. 
we customized the prefix settings. Now, let's move on with the drawings. For the drawings, Protosteel has default settings as well. Again, these can be customized easily. For the customization, we will continue with the drawing settings under the Drawings and Reports tab. Here, you can see that the settings for part drawings and assembly drawings can be managed separately. Let's open assembly drawing settings. On this window, there are default settings for all members and default settings for each member group. Once you make a change in the default settings, it applies for all the members in the model. However, you can also make changes for specific member groups without changing the settings for others. Let's change the assembly drawing settings for columns. After selecting the Details of Columns option, select the corresponding the prefixes for the columns. Recall that we changed the prefix CL as KL, we should add the new prefix here as well. Then, under the General tab, we can define the general settings for the assembly drawings including drawing title, drawing name prefix, drawing number start value, and page size based on the preferences of the company. When we add a dash at the end of the drawing name prefix, a drawing number will be added to the name automatically. Here we select the default A0 option for the page size. Let me remind you that the page size can be adjusted through the drawing settings window as well. For the scales of part and assembly drawings, the default value is 1 tenth as given here. As a default setting, part drawings are included in the assembly drawings, but you can cancel this simply by unchecking the box. Let's change the scale of plate parts in the assembly drawings as 1 fifth. The Save and Close Drawings option means when an assembly drawing is created, Protosteel automatically saves it and takes it down from the screen. The Freeze Drawings option ensures that once the assembly drawing is created, it will be frozen and will not be affected by the upcoming changes. In order to follow updates in your model, freezing the drawings is a good choice. Otherwise, every time you make a change in the model, the drawings will be updated without any warning. Draw single assembly in each drawing is not checked as a default setting meaning that multiple assembly drawings will be placed on a single page as long as they fit to the page size. Under the Views tab, you can customize the views which you want to see on the drawings. Also, you can adjust the margins and interviewport distances from the edges of the page here. Dimensions are automatically stated on the drawings, and through the Dimensions tab, you can easily manage the dimension settings. Annotations for frames, plates, bolts, and welds can also be adjusted for assembly and part drawings separately. Under the same tab, the display options of dimensions can be managed as well. Various display properties of dimensions like the style, font, the number of decimal points, and arrow head can be easily managed on this window. Under the layout tab, you can insert the project details to corresponding places. After making all the necessary changes on the properties of assembly drawings, we can save the changes and close the window. We can create the part and assembly drawings by selecting all the members in our model, or only a part of them. Let's create the assembly drawings of a few members now. Select the members, go to Drawings and Reports tab, Create Drawings command and select the Assembly Drawing option. The created drawings can be seen in the Drawing Manager with the updated names that we applied for the columns. Double-click on the drawing to open in Drawing Module. You can check the properties of the drawing by double-clicking on the drawing. Recall that we selected the views we want to get in the drawings, and we chose to include the part drawings on Assembly Drawings, and here, we can see those part drawings and various views from various angles. Once you zoom out and double-click on the drawing, you can check the properties of the drawing. On the drawing properties, you can see the page size for the current drawing and the creation date of it. On the upper right corner of the drawing, there is a material list table providing you with the material information of the members of the assembly. Project details on the title block are placed on the lower right corner of the drawing. Recall that we updated some of them earlier in this video. Let's close the drawing module and see how to customize this title block in part drawings with the preferences of our company. Open Drawing Layout Settings from the Drawings and Reports tab. 
Through this window, the properties of assembly and part drawings can be managed separately. Under the layout names, you can see that once an assembly drawing is created, the assembly will be placed on a A0 page first, if it does not fit, then the assembly will be placed on a 1.5 A0 page, and this way it will be ensured that the assembly drawing will be placed on a suitable page according to its size automatically. Recall that we checked the material and bolt lists on a drawing a few minutes earlier. The preferences of those tables can be selected here. Their placements on the page can be set here by selecting the corresponding corners. Default title blocks for assembly and part drawings can be set from DXF templates. For an A0 title block, you can select a title block template in DXF format and set it as default. When you click here, you will be directed to the file location in your project file. Now, don't forget to click on Update, we can save the settings and close the Layout Manager now, let's check if the changes we made are applied. Right-click on a column and select the Create Drawings, Assembly Drawing option. Protosteel automatically launches the drawing module. Here you can see the title block that we imported from a DXF template. Similar customizations can be applied to the part drawings as well. In order to create part drawings, again, you can select either the whole model at once or only a part of the model. Let's create a part drawing now. After selecting the elements, utilize the Create Drawings command. You can see the created part drawings on Drawings Manager window. Open one of them by double clicking. Here we have the part drawing of the IPE200 beam, the material list, the assemblies that the part is associated, and the title block. We explained how to create and customize part and assembly drawings in Protosteel. In order to explore all the unique capabilities of Protostructure Suite, don't forget to subscribe. Hope to see you in upcoming videos.